Hello there, welcome to the June 2019 paper here on paper 2, looking at question 5. So, figure 3 shows a sketch of the curve with the equation y equals root x. The point P, x, y lies on the curve. The rectangle shown shaded in figure 3 has a height of y and a width of delta x. Calculate the limit as delta x tends towards 0 of x equals 4 to x equals 9 of root x times uh, delta x. So this is what integration is. Integration is the summation of lots of different rectangles. So if I build upon this and do some more rectangles, it's just the summation of all of those rectangles there. And this is effectively what's going on here. The um, summation of uh, the summation of root x, that's effectively the height of my rectangle, and the delta x bit here is effectively the width of the uh, rectangle, and what the limit bit here is saying is increasingly make those uh, rectangles uh, thinner and thinner and thinner, and what will happen is as those rectangles get made thinner and thinner and thinner, that's going to approximate to the actual curve underneath the um, underneath the graph. So what this question is effectively wanting you to do is integrate. Integrate the curve root x dx in between the boundaries of 9 and 4. So when you get to university level maths you'll see this in more detail and you'll have it explained to you more clearly that the limit of a summation is how you actually work out integration. Um, that's what you're effectively doing when you're integrating you're finding the area under the curve as the rectangles get smaller and smaller and smaller and thinner and thinner and thinner and the number of them will get greater and greater as well because when as the as the rectangles get thinner you'll need more of them and then you'll be adding up lots and lots effectively up to infinity amount of these very small thin curves here and as that delta x delta x is effectively an expression that is a small value of x, small value of x. Okay, so um, it's uh, as that small value of x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, the, the um, area under the curve is getting more and more and more accurate, which eventually leads to this technique of integration. So let's now do the integration. So let's first go from 9 to 4 of x to the half dx. Increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, so it's x uh, to the power of 3 over 2, divide by the new power 2 over 3, in between the boundary of 9 to 4. So let's now substitute that in, 2 over 3, 9 to the power of 3 over 2, minus 2 over 3, 4 to the power of 3 over 2. Uh, so 9 ro rooted will be 3, and then to the power of uh, 3 would be 27, times 2 would be 54, over 3, and then minus 4 rooted would be 2, to the power of 3 would be 8, 8 times, uh, eight times 2 is 16, over 3, so take away the 6, you're at 48, take away, you're at 38, over 3. So this is the answer to this very complicated question here, that actually is just integration. So there we are, that's three marks for question five there. Let's now move on to question six.